Welcome back everybody to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Welcome back to another OOB adventure. Today, we are in the Eternal Palace raid in Nashatar. Currently, we are out of bounds already, but we're going to go have an out of bounds adventure looking around. And uh, I'm very excited for this video. Now, this full OOB credit goes to True Hero as he found this place first. And uh, yeah, so thank you True Hero. Thank you for showing me how to do this glitch. And I'm excited to make this video today. Now, before we begin, I just want to say I'm no longer going to be making announcements in the beginning of my videos. I want to skip past that and get straight to the video. So all the announcements will be in the community page on my YouTube channel. Also, uh, I just wanted to say this Out of Bounds is going to be very special because this place is massive. Like, you guys don't understand the scale and depth of this place is insane. And so I am excited to show you guys. It might be a two-part video. I don't know. We'll see how far we get. But I'm just warning you now, this place is massive. So if you decide to come down here, you decide to break out of bounds, have fun looking around. This place is insane. So let's get right into the video. Now, as you can see, we are currently already out of bounds. The way I got out of bounds was over here in the darkest depths of the, the part of the dungeon. It has the Blackwater Behemoth boss and uh what you can do is you can actually swim when you come out of the entrance uh right over here you can swim straight this way you're gonna see some rock formation by this cool looking purple jellyfish looking stuff and uh, you can clip out of bounds right over here you can jump to like this little part over on the rock and uh, you're gonna hit a wall so you're gonna have to use infernal strike or whatever kind of move you got to jump out and that's it and then you can just swim out so Let's get to the video and let's start swimming around. Now, like I said before, this place is absolutely huge. Like it is massive. Like you guys are in for a treat with this video. I'm telling you, like there is a lot to see. There is a lot to do. Um, currently our swim speed is increased by hundred percent already. And there we go. We're actually already out of the water. So there's just water over here. Once you come out here, there actually is no water at all. This is fully out of the map now. So I'm excited to show you guys this. This is going to be a lot of fun. This is a really cool out of bounds. Now, as you can see over here, we already got some untextured gray space going on, which is really neat. And you can already see kind of inside the map over there. All right, let's keep moving forward. Now we're going to mount up and we're going to go explore. And we're going to make our way out this way. Now, when I tell you this place is massive, it is massive. This is a really cool OOB. The reason being is because, if you remember in this raid, uh, the old god was actually uh, chained up here on the bottom of the ocean. And you're actually going to see some of the... Uh, well, you'll, you'll see here in a minute. I don't want to spoil anything. Let's climb up here. Maybe we can get a better view of where we're going. I think we can make our way up here. I've never been this way yet. Um, or maybe, you know what? Let's just keep going because I don't know if it's possible. But we do got to be careful going down because once you head down, you can't really get back up. So we got to be careful where we're walking and going here because I want to show you guys a bunch of the cool stuff and give you guys a cool view up here of the whole map. Now... As we come over here, there's a lot of things that you never are supposed to see outside the map, but there is a ton to look at. And right here, if you guys remember, this is already the end of the game right here. Or the game. Yeah, end of the game. It's over. World of Warcraft's done now. This is the end of the raid. So that's the final boss room way out there. This is where you go to teleport to Queen Ajara. So this is how far we've already skipped outside the map. And just the feel of this place is insane. I'm going to turn off my mic for a minute because I want you guys to hear the audio and just get a glimpse of the ambience in this place. It is crazy. So I'm going to shut up for a minute. I hit my print screen. 
That's okay. Oh, I just noticed that. There is a giant black box above us, and I've never seen what's up there. Interesting. Huh. Now I'm curious. I don't even know if we can get up there. But as you guys can tell, we are in the heart of it here. What we're going to go do is we're actually going to go... Um, we're going to make our way back up this way. Oops, we're walking on accident. Because usually that was my print screen button. I guess the settings got reverted, so I need to change it back. And we're going to go make our way out this way. Now, I'm going to give you guys a really cool shot of this area. So I'm going to turn off my mic again and let you soak it in. The scale and depth of this place is insane. Like, you guys don't understand how massive this place is. Just absolutely massive. Now, if you guys remember, in this dungeon, Nazoth is actually chained below us currently at the moment. And these are the pillars that the Titans made to chain him down. See, you can see the, ch the chains glowing there in the distance. This place just has a really, really cool vibe to it. Let's take a look at these chains up close. Not every day you get shots like this. Oh, there is a boat outside. Interesting. It's a night elf. Ah, because of uh, being in Nashatar. Wow, this is awesome. I didn't even know this was over here. I've never actually been on this side of the map yet. I have been on the other side, explored over there, but I've never been over here. Wow, this is really cool. So we actually get... And look at the starfish living on this thing. I don't think you're ever supposed to see up here, so how would you even see this? I guess from over there, but... Normally you can't see out here, so why this is out here, I have no idea. But it's really cool on Blizzard's part to put this here. Now, as we come outside the map, I don't know if there's any death walls, any DC walls, anything like that. I have never been out this far before. So, um, this is all going to be brand new for me, just like you guys, unless you have been out here. But this is going to be brand new. I want to show off these chains again. Uh, the things that are holding the Zoth underneath here. Oh, this place gives me chills. <laughs> Look at these things. Let me mute myself. I got a dog here. Oh man, that just gives me chills. That is where Nazoth is currently being chained at in the raid. Now, obviously, he's already been free and we, you know, defeated him in the uh, walking city. But this place is just so cool to look at. Look at, this thing is shaped like an egg. Look at that. When do you ever get shots like this in World of Warcraft? How cool is this, guys? Man, if you ever want some really cool views, this is the place that you want to go to. Right here. I wish we could get on top of one of these things. I don't know if we can. We can try. We can absolutely try. I don't know if it's possible, but it would be neat to get up there. Um, let's see if we can maybe make our way. Okay, so these things are walkable. Sorry guys, I'm just, I'm very excited. <laughs> I'm really excited. I don't know if that would be high enough to get up there anyways, but that would be really cool if we could. As you can see, these giant glowing lights. Man, this is just amazing. Just the sheer depth of this place is insane. 
and how big this place is like this place goes for miles that way like i'm not joking when i say that you you want to go out into the abyss you want to see the unknown in world of warcraft this is where you want to go like just exploring around here is crazy If you have a fear of the dark and you don't like darkness, this is not the place for you. I'll just warn you now because it gets very dark very quickly in here. And look at that. Talk about sh looking into the abyss. Oof. What's interesting is that the chains do unload once you go far enough. Now, towards the end of the video, we're going to jump into the abyss there, but let's go take a look around first because I want to show you guys just the sheer death and just the crazy mass scale of this place. Like, people running this raid have no idea what's actually outside, and it is just crazy. Now, it's really crazy to think also that we are currently in water, but we're not actually in water, you know, because we're out of bounds. So it's kind of funny to think that, you know, this is supposed to be in the deaths, in the water. Look at this. What is that in the distance? Oh, it's just... Okay, it's just shadow or something. Gosh, this place is massive. We do got to be careful where we're walking because I really can't see much. Now, I will tell you, I did use a... Um, uh, what do you call it? Um, the inky black potion in here. And it does light up the sky, so it does recognize that we are in the water under the ocean, and the sky is above us. So the sky box actually turns all stars and dark. So when you actually drink that potion, you can see the skies. Look at that in the distance. You can get a good glimpse of outside of the map here. I'm telling you guys, if you've never been out here, you gotta come check this place out. There's just such a vibe and ambience out here that you don't get anywhere else in World of Warcraft. Look at that. Is that a boss? Like, what is that in the distance? I wish I could zoom in. Oh, actually, I can. Um, I should have a... There it is. What is that? Oh, that's Queen Ajara. <laughs> oh, that's the room that you go into after you defeat the first boss. And he's she's holding... Um, I can't think of the boss's name. Lady Ashvane in the air. Until it turns into Lady Ashvane. Or into the monster. That's really cool. By the way, thank you, Hero, for the true sight view. That thing is amazing. I love having that binoculars on me to be able to see really far so that's a gift right there let's keep walking back this way i think we found the edge of the world here look at that Woo talk about darkness man just take a look at that for a minute Now, what's crazy to think, too, is that you can actually hear Nazoth move and stuff every once in a while. You guys heard, like, that um, that noise underneath the earth? Alright, we're going to keep walking out this way. I'm going to shut off my mic again, and I want you guys just to hear the sounds.
This place gives me the heebie-jeebies. <laughs> it's just like so massive, so dark. You can't see anything. Wish I could light up this place. It would be so cool to see. You can uh, you can light up this place somewhat, like I said, with the inky black potion. But not too much. Unfortunately, I ran out of inky black potions, so... I think so. Let me check my bag. Yeah, I need to stock up on some more. Be forgetting to do that, when I'm, but I'll have to wait for the next Dark Moon Fair to come around. By the way, the chains holding the Zoth just go far back, far back, far back, and they just keep going. Look at all these pillars back here. They just stretch for like miles. These are things you're never supposed to see to begin with. I mean, I think you do see in the cutscene, technically, after you defeat Queen Ashara. But, man. Just a creepy vibe out in this place. Alright, we're going to keep heading out this way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to head back. But what I'll do is I will... Um, I'll spare you guys from having me to watch all walk all the way back again. <laughs> I'll make sure to edit the video so that um, you won't have to watch me do that. But let's keep going this way. And I'm just I'm not joking with you guys. This place is massive, massive. Like it is huge. I don't know what Blizzard was trying to create back here, but they really did capture the essence of the death. And the feeling of being in the ocean. Okay, so we don't want to drop down there because I don't think we can get back up, unfortunately. So I would love to show you guys what one of those pillars look like on the bottom. If I remember correctly, I don't think anything's actually holding them. But there is landmass down there, by the way, so you can get down there. So, all right, guys, I'll be right back. I'm going to um, edit the video here so that you don't have to watch me walk all the way back. And uh, give me one moment. Hello, hello. We are officially back with part two of exploring the Eternal Palace in Nashatar. Well, guys, uh, remember we were on the right side. Now we're going to go explore the left side. Um, <laughs> I did run into some technical difficulties while I was down here. I had turned my graphic quality, my graphics quality all the way up. It actually made my game crash constantly over and over and over again. So, um, not going to be doing that. <laughs> I don't, I do have a nice computer, but not the best like high end graphics gaming computer. I will admit. So, um, I have a 2070 RTX 2070 super. So I do have a little bit of an older generation. Uh, graphics card, you know, not super old, but um, I do want to upgrade my gear and rig and all that in the future, but uh, Gonna be working on that. So anyways, let's get back to the video I'm excited to show off now the left side now as we were talking about in the first video This place is absolutely huge. It is massive and uh, there is just a lot to see out here Now we did run into a wall. So we're actually gonna head back this way because Earlier, I was showing you guys all the chains that were hanging down, and that was the chains that was actually holding the Zoth on the bottom. Now, for the sake of the video, we are going to jump into the abyss down there. We have to do it. I gotta see if there's an Zoth living down there or not. But, as I showed you guys to begin with, this is just a really cool, just a really awesome map to check out and see. I love the sheer scale, and just everything about this map is really cool. Now... I'm going to avoid the area down here. That is where I actually ended up crashing, was right over here. That is the final boss room. If you remember, you actually warp in there from the top over here. And you fight Queen Azara in that place. And after you defeat her, she unleashes Nazoth. Now, we are not going to go over there because if you head over there, you can actually clip back into bounds. You can walk into that room and then you're stuck. So you either have to hearth out or you have to kill yourself with... Um, uh, I don't know, some natural way of a fireplace, um, a campfire or nitro fuel, but this is really cool. Now over here, there is fishes swimming around. 
So we can get a cool look at them. Now remember, this whole place is smoke and mirrors, right? Normally, you're supposed to be seeing out here is this place is supposed to be water. But as you can tell, there is no water out here. Now, these are the towers that the Titan put in to hold Nazoth down. If you get up close enough, the chain should appear. Now, why they're not spawning in, I don't know why. Maybe we need to turn up the distance view. Uh, let's take a look here. There we go. Now, the chains still haven't loaded in yet, unfortunately. Can we get up here to see? Man, so when we were over there, the chains loaded in. Um, but now they're not loading in for whatever reason. Normally there's chains that are holding Nazoth. You can see them load in over here. Um, and I don't know what changed, but as you can see, this scale back really, really, really far. Um, and it may just be because of our graphics quality here. But I'm not sure what to turn this up to because I don't want my game to crash again. Um, I'm going to turn the view distance down. back down to five um still haven't loaded in so maybe we just didn't have it we haven't hit that um graphics setting yet or whatever you know it hasn't just rendered in or spawned in yet obviously um maybe we can go let's go run back this way i did crash over here so i do want to be careful but i do want to show you guys the chains that we saw in the first video um let's take a look this way and see if we can find it now this is just some really cool views in this game and this map especially i love it so much um ooh, okay we don't want to fly off the edge that was that would have been bad so let's go take a look this way there they go. They spawned in. So that's what we were looking for. Okay. So there are chains down there. They're actually supposed to be holding the Zoth. Now, you guys, we got to jump in, right? Now, before we jump into the abyss and fly into the DC, because <laughs> we're probably going to get disconnected because we're going to fall into the void. I want to show you guys what this map looks like with an inky black potion on. I forgot that Hero had sent me some. Thank you, Hero. As you can see here, you can see all the chains. Look at the whole map changes. There's just a whole different view to this place now. It is really, really awesome. It is such a crazy view to me. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go glide into the abyss. I'm going to shut off my mic and I'm going to let you guys watch me as I fall and probably DC. <laughs> so, all right, guys. Well, I just want to say thank you for watching this um, Eternal Palace raid. All your guys' support has been amazing. We're getting close to 5,000 subscribers. That is such a blessing. I just want to thank everybody who's been supporting the channel, who's been commenting, who's been liking. Uh, this has been a really fun OOB. It's been kind of a struggle OOB. There is a... Uh, I was having a little bit of problems. But uh, I was able to get past it and move on. So to end this video, we're going to fly into the abyss. So I hope you enjoy, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. And we DC'd. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys.
It's been a lot of fun. Take care.